All right, so I'm going to show you guys two questions to ask that will make you an absolute ton of money when you're selling final expense over the phone, right? So basically, whenever you're selling, right, and this is with final expense, I mean, this is really with anything, but we're talking specifically insurance here. So that's what my examples are going to be based off of. So there's basically two types of questions that you can ask. You have close ended questions and you have open-ended questions, right? And you're gonna kind of use these interchangeably based off of what your goal is and what you're trying to get when you're asking that question, right? So basically, close-ended questions force people to make a decision, and open-ended questions are to extract information. They get people talking, right? So I'm gonna show you guys first, I mean, obviously, I just went over the types of questions there are, let me show you guys when to use them and how to use them strategically to write more final expense business uh, over the phone. So again, closed-ended questions, that's what you're using when you want someone to make a decision. Open-ended questions is what you ask them when you want them to give you more information. So let's talk about open-ended questions first because ultimately these are, actually I would say they're equally powerful, but this is more important earlier in the call, right? So an open-ended question gets people to give you information. So in the beginning of your call, right, you have the call intro, which is basically just the whole purpose of the call intro is not to get hung up on and to get into the information gathering stage. So the call intro, don't get hung up on, uh, explain what it's about, introduce yourself, that kind of thing. If you guys want an in-depth breakdown of the script, uh, we have those on our YouTube channel. Um, then you're gonna start information gathering, right? So for example, let's say I get somebody on the phone, I'm talking to them. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Miss Jones and kind of fill me in. What, uh, what had you looking into this life insurance stuff? Right. You guys see it's an open-ended question. What had you looking into this life insurance stuff? Well, what can I respond to that? I can't respond. Yes. I can't respond. No. Right. Sometimes people, they don't want to give up information so you can ask more open-ended questions. So let's say I asked that, you know, what kind of got you looking into this kind of thing? Oh, well, you know, I'm just looking for some prices. Yeah. No, I mean, totally. That makes perfect sense. Kind of checking into the prices and stuff, you know, seeing what's out there. I think that makes perfect sense. I mean, how long have you been looking into this for? Right? Another open-ended question. I'm gaining more information. I'm getting more insight that I can then use to help me close the deal. Oh, well, you know, I've been looking into it for two weeks. Okay, fantastic. And I mean, obviously nobody really likes just talking about life insurance or looking into this. It's not like a super interesting topic. I mean, if you've been looking around for two weeks, like what's kind of stopped you from pulling the trigger on something in the past, right? Extracting more information, another open-ended question, hitting them with that. Now I'm going to find out what has been holding them back. I can use that to help me close the sale. Boom. So that's open-ended questions. Very simple concept. This is what you want to ask when you need to extract information and you need to learn more about your prospect. Uh, close-ended questions. This is going to be used when you want somebody to make a decision, right? So for example, I present the three different pricing options. All right, Ms. Jones, so 25,000 is gonna be $100 a month, 20,000 is gonna be $80 a month, 15,000 is gonna be $60 a month, whatever. Of those three options, which do you think is going to fit the best into your budget? That is, an, that is a close-ended question. I've given them three options and they have to pick one of three options, right? That's a close-ended question, so I'm forcing them to make a decision. What you wouldn't want to do when you're asking for the close is be like, awesome. And, um, you know, I'm trying to think of an open-ended way to ask for the order. Um, so what do you think about those three options I just presented you? Right? Like that's that that would not get you the deal. That's going to cause them to um, ramble on. Like that's not the way to ask for the order, right? So you want to ask for the order with closed-ended questions. You want to gain information with open-ended questions. Another way you would use closed-ended questions is when you're setting an appointment. So a lot of people set appointment with open-ended questions. It's awkward and usually it just makes prospects uncomfortable. So for example, uh, let's say I have to set an appointment. Okay, perfect. And what time works good for you? I mean, are you talking today, tomorrow, next year? Like no one knows, right? So I'd be like, okay, yeah, I mean, that that's totally fine that you're not available right now. I have some available availability either later this afternoon or tomorrow, which works better for you? Close-ended question. I'm forcing them to decide this or this, this or this, right? And so basically, when you master those two types of questions, you're going to use them in different situations interchangeably, 
open to get information, close to get a decision. And when you perfect that, you're gonna make a ton of money selling final expense over the phone. And when you master those, you're gonna be well on your way to making six figures and beyond. If you guys got value from this, hit the like button. If you want more training from us, we got a bunch of it on YouTube for free, but if you want more in-depth stuff, you may should maybe you should consider joining our agency. We provide fee, free leads, uh, daily training, role playing. We get the script. Uh, we provide all of your software, it's literally everything to help you be successful, and we're investing in you. So if that sounds interesting to you, I put together a twenty minute video breaking down how it works. You can click that link in the description and uh, and learn more about it. If you don't want to, no worries. Watch our free content, and uh, we'll help you reach your goals. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.